Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for July 6th through the 19th. Soon, you'll see a new face here in the council chambers following the resignation of an at-large council member. Cynthia Bemis Abrams announced she would be leaving the city council back in May. She's moving to Chicago after taking office in 2014. In accordance with the city charter, an appointment will be made to fill Abrams' term through December 2017. Interviews were conducted July 6th, and an appointment will be made July 11th. You can take a look at the list of candidates by visiting the city's website and clicking on the city council tab. While things are changing here in the chambers, a tried and true city resource is getting some big recognition. Bloomington's tap water was named the best in the nation. The bragging rights were bestowed by the American Water Works Association after a tap water taste test of regional winners. Bloomington was named the best in Minnesota back in 2015, which earned the city the right to enter this national contest. This tasty Bloomington water is made possible thanks to more than 50 utilities employees who help distribute water to Bloomington's 86,000 residents and 90,000 people who work in Bloomington. While utilities workers now have something to boast about, other noteworthy work is being done by public works employees. You can see road construction has finished up at a major intersection, improving conditions for drivers and pedestrians. Strip mall owners, the city and Hennepin County joined together to improve a portion of Portland Avenue north of American Boulevard to I-494. The collaborative effort moved the sidewalk, paved the roadway and enhanced the right of way with new dirt and seed. Hennepin County initially approached the city about the joint effort since they had an overlay project already scheduled for this year. The road needed drainage improvement and new pavement. The city ended up paying for the sidewalk work and the county backed the curb and gutter portion. Store owners also volunteered to upgrade their storefronts and parking lots. Back near City Hall, volunteers are preparing for a dance party at Creekside Community Center. The senior dance hosted by Human Services will be on July 16th with the deadline for buying tickets on July 11th. The theme this year is dance through the decades and music from the 40s to 70s will be played. A dance committee helps plan the event and they say there's many reasons people should come out. Very cheap entertainment, a fun night out, back, bring our youth back. Uh, come and you know, exercise and get steam off and just enjoy. The dance goes from 7 to 9. Tickets are $10 and include a light dinner. If you're looking for another way to get out on the town, consider visiting a pop-up farmer's market. In celebration of the market's 10th season, pop-up markets are taking place around the city. These markets are smaller in scale, but still offer quality, fresh goods. The next pop-up event is Tuesday, July 19th at Normandale Park in the Chalet parking lot. It will go from 3 to 7. There are two more left this season, one on Tuesday, August 16th, and another on Tuesday, September 20th. Both of those are at Bloomington Central Station Park on 33rd Avenue South. That is the buzz on Bloomington today for July 6th through the 19th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find a piece explaining the town hall meetings taking place. City staff members are gathering input from residents to help prepare for Bloomington's future. There's also a video taking you inside National Take Your Dog to Work Day at the Nerdery. Check those out and thanks for watching.